So, this is going to be a rather short tutorial on how to export any model from 3ds Max as a static Quake 3 MD3 model for use in any Tech 3 based games like Quake 3, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, Jedi Outcast, Star Trek Elite Force, and a few others. So, basically, I have made this simple rock model, and it obviously also has a texture for it. And to get started, I think we should begin by setting up our proper folder structure for the export. So, we go to our mapping installation, game data, base in this case, models, map objects, and create a new folder named, let's just name it tutorial underscore rock. Okay, so now that we have this folder, we can copy our texture file in here. That's that. We're done with the texture. Now, back to 3ds Max. So, back in 3ds Max, we press M, both. We press M to open the material editor, and just pick any of these over here. Let's just start with the first one. Go to Maps, Diffuse Color. We choose a bitmap. And now we have to pick our texture. We don't want the one from the original folder. We want the one from our mapping folder, which I'm going to browse through very quickly. Tutorial, rock, and rock. There we go. Now that's done. Go back to parent. This is our main material. Now we select our rock and drag and drop the material over. Looks a little bland, so we can just click this. To see our texture in the viewport. And there we have a nice little rock. Now before we export, all we need to do is to check, replace this material name with the folder path, which is, in my case, models, map objects, tutorial, rock, rock.jpg. So models, oh, slash tutorial, slash map objects, slash tutorial, underscore rock slash rock dot jpeg and that's it we can export to export just go to file export and in this case let's just select it export export selected browse to our folder again the mapping jedi game data base models map objects Tutorial Rock, and we want Quake 3 MD3, obviously. Let's name it Rock, or anything really. Let's, I'll just go with Rock. So, now we have two options. Use material name as texture path, should always be checked. And Smart Path, use models directory as root to found a texture. Works sometimes, but not in all cases. So, if you have your model texture, in the model folder, you can use this. If you don't, I would not use this. So it's safer to always just name the material as the texture path. We don't have any animations or anything, so we can ignore it all and just hit export. So that's done. And now we have our beautiful little MD3 model. All set and ready for GTK Radiant. Let's just quickly add a misc model. Map objects, tutorial rock, rock MD3, find it, yeah, and there we have it, very quick and easy, so see you next time.